Hi friends, in this video I will discuss the Viva questions on Hall effect experiment. It is a basic experiment in BTEC and BSc courses. Basically, the Hall effect is the study of magnetic field on charge carriers in conductors or in semiconductors. We can understand this phenomena from this figure that if we have a specimen like this and the current is flowing in x direction i current is flowing in x direction and if the current is flowing in x direction then electrons will flow in opposite direction and if there is no magnetic field then there will be no potential difference across the sample but if we apply some magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of current in z direction then there is some force according to the flanging's left hand rule and the electrons will go on another side and here we will have some kind of potential difference which is known as the Hall voltage. So Hall voltage depends on the current I, the magnetic field B and the sample dimensions. B and D where B is the width of the sample, D is the thickness of the sample. So we can measure the Hall voltage. In most of the laboratories, we have the experiments based on the semiconductors like germanium crystal. And the Hall effect is basically it is the deflection of electrons or in N types or holes in P type due to the external magnetic field. So if we measure the Hall voltage, then we plot the Hall voltage versus the current and using this slope we can find out the tan theta that is the slope of Vh by Ix. And this slope can be used for calculating different um, coefficients in this Hall effect experiment. First one is Hall coefficient which is also related with Hall voltage and current Vh by Ih, V by Bz and Vh by Ix we just have calculated from this graph as tan theta B by Bz. So this is Hall coefficient and if we have calculated the Hall coefficient then we can calculate the uh, charge carrier's density that is N is equal to 1 upon E into Rh and also we can measure the phi, uh, whole angle phi that is Bh by Bx into Ix by B it is in radian. The, we can also find out the mobility and conductivity and mobility is phi divided by the magnetic field B and similarly the conductivity we can find out using uh, when mobility is divided by the whole coefficient. Now we move to the Viber questions which are basically asked on this experiment. So first question is just basic question. What is Hall effect or define Hall effect? So it is when a current is current carrying conductor or in semiconductor is placed in a magnetic field. Then there is a potential difference is developed at right angle to both the magnetic field and electric field and this phenomena is known as Hall effect. And this was named as due to its discovery was done by Edwin Hall in 1879. So on what factor the sign of Hall potential or Hall voltage depends? The sign of Hall voltage tells about the type of semiconductor. If it is positive then it is a p-type semiconductor and if it is negative then it is n-type semiconductor. In case of metals or conductors the electrons are charge carriers so Hall voltage is always negative in case of the conductors. What are the allied parameters in your experiment? In our experiment the allied or the connected parameters are Hall voltage, Hall coefficient Rh, number of charge carrier N, Hall angle phi and mobility of charge carriers M mu. What is Hall coefficient and what is its unit? So Hall coefficient can be defined as the Hall field Eh per unit current density 
per unit magnetic field B and it is the characteristic of material from which the conductor or the semiconductor is made of and it depends on the type, number and properties of charge carriers that constitute the current and this is the formula we have already discussed. So what is the Lorentz force? So Lorentz force is the force exerted on a charged particle Q moving with the velocity V through an electric field E and magnetic field P. So the electromagnetic force on a charged particle is called the Lorentz force and it is given by this F equal to QE that is the electric force plus Q V plus V cross B that is the magnetic force. What is Gauss meter and what is the unit of magnetic field? So a Gauss meter is used to measure the magnetic field strength and the unit of magne uh, magne uh, magne uh, measurement of uh, magnetic field are Tesla or Gauss and 1 Gauss equal to 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla or 1 Tesla equal to 10 to the power 4 Gauss. What are electromagnets and how the magnetic field is generated using the electromagnet? An electromagnet is type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current and according to Ampere's law, an electric current flowing in a wire creates a magnetic field around the wire. This principle is used in electromagnets. And electromagnets are made of coil of long wire and magnetic field can be varied according to current in electromagnets whereas in permanent magnets the magnetic field is fixed. What are N and P type semiconductor? So if we dope any semiconductor with trivalent impurities like indium or gallium then it is known as P type semiconductor and when it is doped by some pentavalent impurities such as antimony, SB or arsenic AS then it is known as n-type semiconductor. In p-type semiconductor, the majority carriers are holes, whereas in n-type semiconductor, the majority carriers are holes. What do you understand by mobility of charge carriers? The mobility of charge carriers is defined as the average velocity acquired under the influence of an external applied electric field and m mu equal to vx by ex and it is one of the most important parameters for any semiconductor material and it determines how fast a carrier such as electron or hole can move in a solid material under applied electric field. So which type of charge carrier has greater mobility? In a semiconductor, electrons have higher mobility as compared to holes because effective mass of a hole is greater than an electron. Why the conductivity of a semiconductor increases with the rise in temperature? The carrier concentration increases with the rise in temperature in a semiconductor which results in the increase in the conductivity and also with the increase in temperature the number of electrons from balance band can jump to conduction band in semiconductor which also result in the increase in conductivity. So what is Hall angle? So basically the net electric field in the semiconductor is the vector sum of Ex and Eh and this is the resultant E and the resultant vector E makes some angle with the electric field Ex. So this angle between Ex and the resultant field is known as the Hall angle theta H or phi. So the application of what are the basic applications of Hall effects. So in semiconductors, the Hall effect is used to find whether a semiconductor is n-type or p-type and it is used to find the carrier concentration, the mobility of charge carriers as well as the conductivity of the material. Also, it is applied in different devices as a sensor and uh, in determine the, whether a material is semiconductor or insulator. Also, in magnetometers, it is used to measure the magnetic fields. They are used in integrated circuits and electronic devices and they are also used in the measurement of the speed of wheels. So in this video we have discussed all about the Hall effect. So in upcoming videos we will be discussing the viva questions related to the other semiconductor experiments and experiments related to the optics like uh, 
न्यूटन्स रिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टिबिलिटी सोलर सेल्स मैग्नेट रिस्ट्रिक्शंस सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड योर क्वरीज एंड सजेशंस आर वेलकम